Hello guys, Parry here again with another Max Pain 3 multiplayer video. This time we're going to be taking a look at Pain Killer. So what is Pain Killer? Well, this is my new favourite mode when it comes to the uh, Max Pain multiplayer. Basically, the first one to get a kill now will either become Max or his partner. And what does that mean? Well, basically they get to dual wield weapons, they get the big, um, big LMG, they get two sets of health, and they get uh, basically unlimited uh, bullet time. So, I actually had a really, really good game on this one. I kicked some ass and we came out on top on this one. It's just, I mean, there's not many people in this now, but as we get further into the game, there's actually about nine people, ten people. So, it, as the game progresses, it ends up being 8v2. Uh, this becomes quite intense because you know you've got eight people after you, but you've got bullet time. There we go. I'm now uh, I'm now Max. Uh, I'll let you watch a little bit of the footage and I'll comment a little bit more on this. But this is this is definitely out of all the multiplayer modes that we've got so far. This is definitely my favourite. <coughs> They become sluggish, slow on the draw. As you can see, they've really integrated the bullet time into the game really well. And the way that it works is it's almost like a tunnel straight in front of you, is when the bullet, bullet time is affected. So people at the side of you. They're still in real time, but they will see you firing at the other person in slow motion. So it's actually quite cool, even when you're not in the bullet time, to watch some of the players actually uh, actually fighting with it. And as you can see, I'm kicking some fucking ass here. Kicking some fucking ass. It's what we do. It's what we do. Look at that. Bullet time. <laughs> Didn't have any bullets. So, best thing to do is curb stomp the fucker. Curb stomp him and rob him. Love it. I mean, it's, it seems quite obvious now, but once you're playing, you two really do need to stick together, you and your partner. Um, it just makes it so much easier because when you're on your own, you, you can have, you know, literally eight people after you. But that really creates some awesome. I'm, I'm just choking on some strawberry yogurt. I've spilt some on my tracky bottoms like a chav and looks like jizz. I'm sure you wanted to know that. I'm sure you wanted to know that. What, some random bloke screaming then? That wasn't here. It was on the video. Look at that. I'm bleeding on my suit. Yes, highly recommend it. As I said in my previous video, if you've got a PC that can run it and you've got 35 gig, yes, 35 gigs worth of... Um, yeah, no chance, did he? No chance. 35 gigs worth of hard drive space. You should get it. Look at that. What a pointless thing. Flop. I will be releasing possibly not some more of Max Ben 3 single player because I think it spoils it for people. But I will be doing some Ghost Recon Future Ass Bandit videos on the PC. I've got the Xbox version. Uh, again, it's another game that's good. As long as you've got team play, absolutely brilliant game. Graphics on the Xbox are not too bad. I mean, it's anti alias city, really low res. So obviously I'm waiting for the uh, the master version. As long as Ubisoft don't shaft us and give us the shitty console port version. But what I can tell you about this mod is this is definitely not a console port. L lots of graphical options in the menus, and if it was a console port, get, get down, fucker, get down. Uh, it would be a shitty version, but it's not. It's actually highly recommended. And I think, as I've said, this is a this is a great mod. There's there's team deathmatch. Deathmatch. This is Painkiller. Uh, Gang Wars I found a little bit boring. I don't know why. What it is about it. But the game, as the game's only been out for, what? Seven, eight hours. Um, as people start to get rocket launchers, grenade launchers, smoke grenades. Uh, you know, all the, all the rest of the kit that goes with it. I think it'll make the game even more interesting. Could do with a few more maps at this point. But then again, the game's only been out of days. What do you expect? Anyway, get the game. Join me and have some fun. I'll leave this video to go to the end. 
lots of bullet time and action all the way through. Enjoy! Actually, while well, we're uh, while well, I'm still jibber jabbering on with me jibber jabber jabber jibber, wasn't uh, jabber the whatever it was in that Star Wars film? Absolutely turd. Why he was in it, it was ridiculous. Anyway, stop talking about that, Andy. Let's talk about the game. Yes, you can actually join through the Rockstar Social Club a gang. Um, basically, all you do is you, once you sign up, you go to Cruise, I think it's called, not Gang, sorry, and you can pick to join, set your own up. And what this means is you get your own tag on the scoreboards and if you play together you both get more XP, more experience points, so you basically rank up quicker. And you can create private matches between different crews as well, again for more experience points. There's a plane flying over, I'm living near an airport. There was one thing I wanted to say about the Ghost Recon as well from the Xbox, which I think is a real shame, and I'm only saying this so it gives people the chance to know about it before they buy it, is Ubisoft decided that there is no public co-op mode or horde mode, basically, like which is like the survival mode. So this means that if none of your friends are on, or your friends don't buy the game, you can't play horde mode and you can't play co-op. Can somebody please explain this to me? It says on the official forums that they said they didn't want to ruin the gameplay. What fucking bollocks is that? Honestly, stop eating your own shite and fucking admit you rushed it to get it out in time. As it is, we haven't had any PC footage. It's going to be a pig of a fucking console port, and that's a fact. Why you don't, you put two main features into the game and then not allow anybody to play it with the public is just fucking ridiculous. Anyway, run over. Let's kill some more fuckwits. I got asked by somebody to explain the bars on the right hand side and I have done that on the previous video but in case you haven't seen that one every time you get a kill or a team action that bar fills up on the side and the perk that I've got is trigger happy so when it gets to the first bar Oh, by the way, you lose a bar every time you die. If, the, if on the first bar I press the right stick in, I get 20 seconds worth of armor-piercing bullets. If it goes up to the second um, slot and I activate it, I get an LMG, basically what he's got now. And if I do it on the third one, I get a grenade launcher. For as long as I've got ammo, uh, you wish you can pick ammo up from dead bodies. So forth. If at any time... Instead of doing those perks, I can use bullet time, and that will slowly drain down the bars. So you've got the option whether you want to use your perks or whether you want to use bullet time. Uh, it's quite a neat little feature, really. Once you, once you get get used to it and you get your head around it, on the on the pad on the PC, it's your right bumper is to jump forward or jump to the side, uh, and just clicking the thumbstick in is just is just basic straight uh, straight bullet time. That was a little turdy bullet time there because I've only got a little tits worth on the right hand side as you can see. Uh, and these, uh, Well, it's obvious but the, the health is regen with the uh, image of the fella there. It just doesn't show the big schlong uh, and bullets are underneath. And that's it really. It's quite, it's quite straightforward. Really good, exciting multiplayer that's a little bit different. I'm sure we're all a little bit tired of Battlefield 3. I'm certainly not looking forward to the new DLC because that's just for the CODs in it, it's just for the pedos and the CODs. COD fans, fucking worst worst game ever made, apart from COD 4, and the prince of that is just being a fucking cash in. You might as well just go suck the dicks and lick the bollocks while you're there, give them your money. You're all fucking stupid if you buy the next COD. Waste of bloody time. Looks like Battlefield's going the same way as well, with all that rant about the Elite service. Lo and behold, Battlefield 3 Premium. Fucking hell. I, I don't for one minute think this is nice. A bit here. You ain't slip Exaggerated. Ass. Holes. Anyway. Suddenly, every move they made was too. I 
poder morrer! Aqui é tudo bichinha, hein? Já era, acabamos com esses bosta! Sobra! Sobra! Sobra!